Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F-18C Hornet video, we're coming back to the Automatic Carrier Landing System again, or ACLS. Now this time, rather than using the Super Carrier Module, we're going to be using for ACLS uh, the free CVN-74 John C. Stennis that comes with DCS. And you'll see that uh, a lot is very similar, but there are some big changes. Uh, the biggest one, of course, is going to be the radio communications. So speaking of comms, let's uh, bring up the uh, comm menu, ATC, John C. Stennis, and inbound. Three, zero, three, inbound. Three, zero, three. Fly heading zero, eight, eight. I can see that's quite a bit different. So, uh, like before, we'll set up the TACAN, ICLS, and the Link 4. So, TACAN, turn it on. In this case, it's going to be channel 74. Then, for the ICLS with the ILS button, we'll turn it on. It's also going to be channel 11, like before. Then, for the data link, the Link 4, hit the button, turn it on. We'll press K, 256, 0 and enter and now all three of those are set up like before too we'll go to the support page hsi and acl it's going to run the test on the left side support page hsi box the tacan and I created this mission, so I know my final bearing is going to be uh, 81 degrees. And if you're making missions, it's always good to have the BRC and that final heading in the mission brief if you can. So I'm going to hold down the course switch. We have C cell, and now I'm going to punch in 81 and enter. And now we have our course line on the HSI lined up. So uh, around 34 miles out, so we got some time to play with. Let's go ahead and set the radar altimeter to radar. Master arm to safe, hook down, bring up our checklist, raw gear off, ECM off, dispensers to off, hook automatically went to carrier, anti-skid to off, and it's set up a bingo of, again, about 3,500. Okay, helmet is off. Set our radar bug to 250. That yeah, looks good. So again, just like we had with a supercarrier, we're going to have full ACLS support. So that's going to be mode 1, mode 1A, and mode 2. So again, mode 1 is going to essentially, once you engage it with an ACL ready to you know, fly hands-free all the way to landing if you were to wish. Although normally what you do is you would uh, disengage and uh, fly manually at the very last portion just to make sure you're like right on the ball. Uh, then there's a mode 1A, which I just referenced that you can hit the paddle switch and essentially uh, wipe out the autopilot and allow you for manual control. And then we have mode 2, where you get all the ACLS uh, steering indications, but it's uh, manual and it's hand flying for you. Okay, 25 miles out. And of course, we don't have all the indications like we do on Supercarrier, but in general, you want to be about uh, 250 uh, knots uh, when you uh, push into the pattern and around 6,000 feet. So I'm bringing my airspeed down now. We're already at 6,000 feet. And like before, again, we're going to uh, commence about 21 miles with a initial uh, rate of descent of 4,000 feet per minute. And once I pass 5,000 feet, I'll rest that to 2,000 feet per minute. And again, about 250 knots. Okay, and commencing. So nose down. Looking for 4,000 feet per minute. A little too much. Okay, break out. Getting a little too fast. Altitude. Okay, Altitude. under 5,000 feet, so I'm going to rest it up to 2,000 feet per minute of descent. Uh, 
I bring the brake back in. And the magic number I'm looking for now on altimeter is uh, 1,200 feet, and I'll level out there. Also at this point, I'm going to start to use the ICLS localizer to get my lineup correct. At this point, just balancing about 250, rate of descent to 2,000, passing to 2,300. Okay, 1,500 or so. Coming back in a bit. Okay, bring up the nose to overshot a little bit, bring it back up to 1200 feet and 250 knots. Yeah, that's pretty close. Adjust my scale about 10. Okay, eight miles, we're gonna go ahead and dirty up. We'll put the, uh, the gear and flaps down at that point. Confirm that the hook is already down. Okay, 8.4. Okay, gear down, throttles back, start feeding a little bit of uh, pitch trim. At about 1.9, I'll go to half laps. Okay, half laps. 160, I'll go full flaps. And full flaps. Okay, start bring, bringing some throttle back in. At six miles, I will engage uh, auto throttles in approach mode. About there. Okay, now I am not touching throttle, just using the stick. And we're see we're obviously below glide slope. Okay, at 5.5, we'll get that indication of the data. At that point, we can go to autopilot and couple. And just like before, now we're in coupled. And pitch and roll. And this time, I'll, I think I'll add some cheese to my ham sandwich. And again, just like before, we have our uh, ICLS needles, we have our angle of attack bracket, and for ACLS, of course, we have our tadpole here, which is going to show our optimal approach. And as we get closer, we'll see the aircraft start to maneuver uh, to line up the velocity vector with that tadpole. If we want to, of course, we could hit the paddle switch and disengage the coupled steering, and then we would fly the aircraft manually, but we still have the tadpole and the other indications. And again, if I never uh, coupled the aircraft to begin with, that would be considered mode two, where you're manually flying the entire approach, but you're still getting those ACLS indications like the tadpole.
So you can see also with a rather sloppy entry for me uh, into uh, the approach at 5.5 miles, it was still able to correct and uh, get me where I need to be. So it's a pretty powerful system. And again, because this is the free carry, we're not going to hear all the comms now, so we're not going to hear the Hornet ball or anything like that at this point. Uh, this is pretty much uh, it uh, in terms of your interaction for landing at this point. But uh, 12 seconds out, we'll see a 10 second message indicating that we're uh, close to landing. Six out. 250 feet passing it through. 10 seconds. Full throttle. Okay. Back on throttle. Flaps up. Hook up. High gain. And that, folks, is how you do a ACS landing with the free Stennis carrier. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.